All right, you're still watching Ways. The United Nations observes the first Monday of October as World Habitat Day. This year, World Habitat Day will be observed on October 3rd, and the day calls to reflect on our towns, cities, and basic rights of all to have adequate shelter. It serves as a reminder that we can shape the future of the place we live in, right? I mean, this is very important. Anything that has to do with where I'm going to be putting my head on, <laughs> roof over my head and all of that is quite, um, it's worth paying attention and worth the mention. Hmm. What's home? <laughs> you want to go to the place <laughs> where they'll tell you go and hide your phone. <laughs> ah, my sister. But it's good. It's good. Yeah. It's an important day to mention. Yeah, it's an important day. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so what did you find for us in the news? Ah, so what I found in the news uh, has to be the highlights of um, yesterday for a lot of people, especially those that are active on social media, right? Um, it's about one of the forerunners of our presidency, presidential seat, right? So, Bola Ahmed Tinubu releases workout video amid speculations of health status. Um, the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinubu, has released a video of him working out. He released a video to douse the speculation over his health. Mr. Tinubu, who has been in the United Kingdom for about a week, released the video via his um, verified Twitter handle with the caption of, I am healthy. Mm. Many have said I have died. Others claim I have withdrawn from the presidential campaign. Well, nope, this is reality. I'm strong, I'm healthy, and I'm ready to serve Nigerians from day one. Um, so we recall that he left the country for the UK on the 24th of September, um, following speculations on the reasons for the sudden trip. Um, I mean, I'm happy for him that he's alive, and I'm glad that he's, he came out to, like he said, douse the um, rumor, but the memes and reactions to this video got me i mean it was it was just crazy because i just see it coming I, I, what was i doing i think I, I i left a particular meeting and next thing i looked at my phone and i'm seeing somebody on a <laughs> on, a, on a bicycle so Do you know that i man? actually posted a comment i said why is it that we see same old thing. That's why I say that we, the definition of insanity, mm -hmm. right, is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. When mm -hmm. it's close to elections, see, all of a sudden, our politicians are playing football. They are running on the field. They are, no, why do they have no, to this prove... This is because you all said he's not healthy enough. It's not even that. It, it, does it mean that maybe that's... the country, so he has to prove that. So that's what I'm saying. That Does it How mean that... How many seconds? Every... <laughs> Let's even leave the seconds. Mm -hmm. Somebody said they are sure that it is the duration of that video. That's the duration of the entire <laughs> workout. But let's even push that aside. Mm. I, like, are we saying that we are always having to prove the health status of most of the candidates that we, we bring forth during elections? Because why do you have to prove that? Well, if you are healthy, you know, that's what I'm saying. That mm. means it means that we've not done well in terms of yeah. youth participation in, in, in governance, in politics, because if old people always have to come and do treadmills, do football, do all of those things just to it's prove calm. that... You know, it, you know, just to prove that. But I said, hey, who no, am I to don't, judge don't them? The blame back who am I to judge? Me. I only go to the gym when I want to lose dress it's size. Just, if I, I have so, plans. I don't so. even know why he, he needed to do that. I mean, just put out the statement that you're alive, you're well. Like, well, I mean, it got the attention. People. But I want to say something. And though. they say all publicity. No, no publicity is bad publicity. But I want right? to say something. I would rather have done, like, a live video uh -huh. on Instagram or something mm. to say I'm fine. I didn't have to do this. You know why? I believe that this also can be a pre-recorded video. So in case there are speculations, let's pre-plan. Politicians, they are they have a oh, lot of uh, things up of their sleeves. So you I really can't trust. Jagaban has said that he's fine, he's healthy, he's available to hit the ground running from day one. Mm. So please allow this man rest. You people are stressing him and I don't like it. You don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> because he's, he's, he's supposed to be enjoying his retirement and I don't know why yeah. he wants to do this. But since he wants to do it, you should just ask him important questions and allow him. Allow please. him, right? Please. On the note of important <laughs> questions. So I hear, in fact, that's why, thank God we have a lawyer today. I would like to hear his opinion on this before we even mm. move to the main topic. So Etola, uh, Governor Oetola, mm -hmm. barely three days after the Federal High Court nullified the nomination of the Oshun State gov uh, Governor, Mr. Boyega uh, Oetola, as a candidate of, of the All Progressive Congress really? in the last governorship. Yes, so 
they've already concluded the election. Why are you not nullifying him as what, well? What difference does he make? Uh, that's right? what I, I was going to ask. What is the impact, right? Um, as a candidate, right, uh, a group under the auspices of the Citizens for Better Nigeria have called on the Independent National Ele Electoral Commission to nullify the 2022 convention and disqualify all candidates oh, of the I APC. Oh, I see where they're going. <laughs> Very funny. From participating Very in the 2023 funny. general election. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, That's so going to happen. Yeah, so a new election and... So I don't even know what this means, right? Um, the... Uh, according to the punch, they had reported that uh, Oyetola and his deputy governorship candidate, Mr. Benedict Alabi, were nullified on the grounds that the governor, Meibuni of Yobe State, who submitted their names to the INEC as the national caretaker chairman of the party, had violated the provisions of sections 183 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and sections 82 of the Electoral Act. And the court held that um, Buni's act um, acted in the convention of the provision of this, con this um, section 183 of the constitution when he held dual executive position. Mm. So th he was holding two positions as governor of Yobe State and the chairman. So he, vi he violated. So because of that, nullifies. Ah! Lawyers are funny in this country. This is, you know, this is why when we're talking about our leaders and maybe uh, assume or insinuate that they don't think or they don't know what they're doing. I tell you, they know what they're doing. Because Clearly. when push comes to shove, right, they go back to they that will bring, book. They will they, bring the laws so out. Th there is a lot of loopholes in everything that they Thank do. You. That when they need this, they bring it up. So who would have thought? That they will go it this route, right? Just to just, I, I, I'd like to see what the judiciary will do this, to this because absolutely. this is absolutely. But I don't even know what of what yeah. benefit it is actually. Uh, you are, you still don't understand the benefit. I know, it's, but they can't. They can't upturn that election. We it's we not possible. So. But let we me bring so. in. Uh, we'll, we'll take a break because I would like to ask yeah. our guests this particular. Mm -hmm. Then before we move into the conversation, stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 